Hi, I'm Grant with a review and test of a cheap backpack for your DJI Phantom. For those of you that have been on the hunt for a cheap carrying case or um, some sort of solution for carting around your DJI Phantom quadcopter, you may have come across this one before from a Chinese wholesaler called Banggood. Um, it retails for $58.85 US including shipping so it is actually probably that will the cheapest by far that I've seen uh, as a carrying solution for your Phantom helicopter. So is it any good? I've owned my backpack now for about six weeks um, and it's had a pretty good workout. They claim it's waterproof but we shall test this since it's a lovely rainy day here in South Island and New Zealand this afternoon. It, is, it has basically a pocket on the back side pocket here, side pocket here, and obviously the backpack straps on the front here. No uh, waist strap if you're really after a good backpack. Inside it's pre-cut, um, pre-cut foam, and it's actually pretty well specced actually. So my Phantom 2 with the Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal sits in there pretty well. It's got compartments for four batteries and transmitter compartment and other various little nooks and crannies which I've got um, uh, my video transmitter aerials, some battery holes and perhaps um, spare one which I have nothing to put in there just yet. It comes with this floating um, top part actually floats free which sits on the top when you zip it up. I've actually got some uh, double sided velcro tape and I use those just to stick it in here so when you zip it up it stays put. The top side also has a pocket um, In here I put my propellers and my monitor for my FBV kit. I've also got down here, these are the, this is the sunshade for my um, Black Pearl monitor which I just slot down here. So in terms of being a single compact kit that you throw on your back and you're off, um, it does exactly that. Build quality, um, as you'd expect for a cheap Chinese backpack, I wouldn't say it's the greatest, in fact I'd say it's pretty average. For example right here you'll see one of the backpack straps is pretty much ready to come off which is a little bit disappointing. Um, considering I haven't really done much backpacking with it. Okay, one gripe I have, um, since it's saying it's a backpack, I have, I'm actually not a very big guy, in fact I'm a pretty slim guy, and I have the backpack straps loosened right off, and it's only just, and it's already a pretty snug fit, so if you're after an ergonomic backpack for um, heading out to the woods for perhaps long hikes, this is probably not the one for you. However, for short, you know, throw it over your shoulders or just for short walks, um, it's okay. It's not comfortable, doesn't have any lumbar support, but uh, it is what it is. Right, so that's the functionality of the backpack covered. Um, they claim waterproof, it being a waterproof backpack, so it's a good rainy afternoon here. I am not that brave to leave all my gear in it, so I'm going to empty my Phantom and bits and pieces out of it and put it out in the rain and see how it goes. It's not raining as hard as I'd hoped, so I thought I'd give nature a bit of a helping hand. The backpack's been out there just about an hour, so uh, let's go and see how, it, how well it feared. quite a lot of work. Surprisingly, well not really surprisingly, there's actually uh, yeah, the top sheet didn't do so well, um, but it's a bit damp, it's a bit damp as well. And there's a few drops in there as well actually. Um, you know, it wasn't too bad considering I threw the bucket over it, so waterproof, no, water resistant, not really, but you know, I guess if you're caught out in a shell on your back, you've probably got, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to get undercover. So now I've got a rather wet backpack, which I'm gonna go and put by the fire to dry off. Um, 
to conclude, my thoughts overall on the backpack. I actually, surprisingly, I actually quite like it. I actually think value for money, it's actually quite good, um, especially as I'm sure a lot of you that are looking for a backpack or a case for your Phantom, um, this nearest competitor in price, uh, you're into the hundreds, two hundreds uh, and up um, in price. You know? So for 58 US, um, it does the trick. I can put all my gear in it, I can put it on my back, I can walk into the bush, and I actually really like that portability of it. Um, yes, it's cheap construction, no, it's not waterproof. I didn't really expect it to be, to be honest, um, but that's not what I bought it for. A wee story on how this backpack has already actually paid for itself for me. I uh, had an incident a couple of weekends ago, sort of a rite of passage, I believe, for the Phantom owners, where I crashed it on a steep bank um, in thick bush on the far side of a valley. I then had to basically scramble up, and it was very steep and tricky, um, tricky going. I basically put the backpack on my back, scrambled up, got it, put it in the backpack, put it on my back, and then managed to scramble my way down. But I needed all my hands and everything to climb up and down this uh, valley wall and through the bush. So if I had to carry it um, in my hand, it, I don't think it would have come out very, very well. So the ability to put it in the backpack on my back, have my hands and legs free, uh, was invaluable in that instance. So I still plan on getting a hard case or a Pelican case for traveling um, on airplanes for my Phantom. I wouldn't check this one as checked luggage. I don't think it's strong enough for that, but I would take it as a carry-on and I think it would fit um, the size requirements for a carry-on. So all in all, um, it's, it's not the strongest. It's definitely not waterproof. It does the trick. It's not the best construction, but for the price, yeah, I, I can actually recommend it as a general day-to-day -day, or perhaps if you want to go for a short walk or a short bike even um, and take a quadcopter with you. So yeah, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.